Hey coach, my name is John Wheeler and I'm sharing with you the Princeton Offense Secrets. And today we're gonna to talk about the number one concept that we teach our players and that is to be open, don't get open. Okay, so where do your wings go when you start your offense? All right, most of the time you'll see when you roll the ball out in open gym or when you're running your offense, whether you tell them to or not, most of the time your players are going to run straight to the three-point line. Okay, that is a huge no-no for us. That We do not start our offense on the three-point line, and I'm going to show you why. Because we want to be open, we don't want to get open. And the reason is this. Okay, we're, we're going to be the underdog during the season. We're going to play teams who are bigger, faster, stronger than we are. And if we're going to V-cut, because if we start on the three-point line, we have to now get open because I know when I'm standing on a three-point line, I'm going to be guarded. So naturally, we have to get open. How do you get open? You can V-cut, L-cut, circle cut, pin and pop. Okay, all kinds of different ways to get open. But when you're playing against a team who's bigger, faster, stronger than you, I don't want to fight their strength. Okay, we don't want our players, if this kid is, is quicker, this kid is longer, we don't want to fight that kid's strength and try to get open. At the same time, our point guard all right, is battling up here one-on-one -on -one with maybe a bigger, faster, stronger kid. All right, and now we're trying to V-cut, and they're trying to turn us, and we're trying to get open over here. All right, and the timing has to be perfect, or else we're sprinting to get open, and we have finally made a move. And the timing has to work out to where I can zip this pass and the ball can beat the three-man there. Okay, and now maybe we get it and the three-man jumps through and now we can drive and play. But that's, that's pretty risky. Okay, if, you're, if you, this is how you start your offense, your players are making um, slower decisions, under-pressure decisions, they're turning the ball over more or, you're, or giving up more deflections, right? And it's so difficult to start your offense this way. So what we do, we're not going to get open we're going to be open all right and all we're going to do is the, the big thing that we're going to do to do that is to get off the three-point line so we're, we're above foul line extended and we'll go as high as three-point line extended or even higher depending on how badly we help you know we want the ball in the wing okay now when the one man is over here fighting battling being turned all they have to do is look put their head up put their eyes up and look over here and say oh they're wide open because this defender's thinking, yeah, they're so far off the three-point line, they can't score from there. I'm not going to go guard them. So, boom, we just zip the ball there, and now we can run our offense. All right, and that is a quick, it is an easy decision. Our point guard can look up and see, oh, they're wide open. Boom, zip it, and now they're going. So, we've made a quick decision. All right, very low risk of turning the basketball over. All right, and now we've started our, our offense very easily against pressure. Okay? Now, the second thing you're going to see is what happens, Coach? is if they come way out here and deny us. Okay, this is great because in Princeton, okay, you're all familiar with, with Princeton loves going back door. Okay, that's a, a big pressure release. But the important thing here is that the point guard can see that they're not open. Okay, and if, they're, if you're ever not open in Princeton, we go to the next thing. We go to the next phase. We go to the next counter. We look for the next pass. So if we're not open here, one man can say, can look up and say, boom, oh, they're not open. Look, they're denied. They're not open. Not even close to open. All right, so I can make a quick decision and throw the ball right here and run our offense on the other side of the floor or do whatever the next thing is. Okay, we don't have to sit here and think, are they open or are they not open? We can just say, hey, they're open. Zip it there. They're not open. Hey, let's, let's run the next thing. Okay? All right, now a good defender or a well-coached team might stick that defender halfway through. They're not completely sagging, but they're not completely denying either. So are they open or not open? So now your point guard has to think. And now your wing might say, I might have to do something to get open here. Okay, so what we do is we take that decision out of their hands. Okay, if we're playing against a team who's maybe bigger, faster, stronger, more athletic, maybe quicker, I'm going to tell my point guard, listen, when you bring the ball to the floor, and if you're not sure, if that defender is not sagging and they're not denying, but they're in the middle and they're in a good stance, 
I take the decision out of our point guard's hands and I say they're not open. Okay? So if you're not sure, they're not open. Okay? Decisions out of their hands. Okay? Eyes look up. Hey, uh, not sure. Boom, not open. And they're going to zip the ball over here and run the next thing. So if you want to learn more about the Princeton offense and concepts like this, we're holding a three-day live mastermind. Go to teachhoopsprinceton.com. Teachhoopsprinceton.com and register, sign up. Uh, all you do is put in your name and email, and then I will shoot you an email uh, and let you know when we're starting, what days it's happening, and when we're starting. Okay? So teachhoopsprinceton.com. Coaches, thanks for hanging out, and I'll see you on the court.